Dirt Rally 2.0 is awesome. This is a game that every rally fan knows very well. This game came out in 2019 according to Google and before this video I've had spent 40 minutes in this game previously, like a year ago. <laughs> so today I will try to play some more to see if this game is worth it or not. So first of all I've started with the career mode but I didn't finish it yet. I don't even know how long it is or whatever but so far I like it. The menu looks very simplistic, again similar to the F1 game style, kinda like mobile game, but in this case I like it actually. It looks nice, simple and it's kinda calm to my eyes. One thing that's been a bit annoying is the VR again, like in the F1 game. Since for some reason it mirrors both eyes on the screen, so I can't really record VR point of view footage. When I play the game on the screen it looks all nice. Everything is so smooth, but as soon as I use VR, it looks like I'm playing a much, much older video game. Everything is jaggy. It could possibly be that my PC is already lacking at this point and could use an upgrade. Or maybe because I'm using the first Oculus Rift CV1, which is quite old. I'll try the VR in this game again later this month, once I buy the PSVR 2 adapter for PC they just released. And if it's gonna be good, I will probably play the whole career mode. Because so far I really enjoy this. This game has various types of stages and you can also do some rally cross which is like rally but with other people crashing into you. So if you're asking if this game is worth playing or buying then yes. Don't know how this game works without sim racing setup as I've never tried this game on keyboard or gamepad but with wheel it's simply amazing. Now if you've played Assetto Corsa before and you like Toge then you definitely will enjoy the road rally stages. I think they call it tarmac which is what Takumi was doing after the events of Initial D.
Did you see it? Did you see what? Wow, we. Did the tires perform okay in that stage? Next video is finally going to be the game that I played the most in 2024 so far. The Gran Turismo experience starts in September. Hope you've all had a great summer. My summer was really boring, but boring is still better than some summers that I've had previously. So I'm grateful even for that. Thank you for watching. Love you all. See ya next time.